uh, is this the um, Alcoholics Anonymous meeting? Oh, sure is. Gary Paulson, alcoholic, drug addict, author of Hatchet. How's it going? We're the only ones. Isn't Gary Paulson a lot older and not you? No, I'm Gary Paulson. I wrote Brian's Winner. Are you ready for some spiritual growth? Oh, help yourself to some free coffee. I think I'm gonna go. No, 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 you can't go. You can't go. Do you want to let him down? Jesus. Yeah, him. That don't, was... don't you let him down like the Romans did. <laughs> a little biblical humor there. Coffee? Do you really think that you're Gary Paulson? Of course I'm Gary Paulson. I wrote White Fang. Wasn't that Jack London? All right, let's get this meeting underway, folks. Uh, how about we go around the circle and introduce ourselves? <laughs> Bruce. <laughs> okay, hi everyone. I'm Gary Paulson, alcoholic, drug addict, author of the Chronicles of Narnia. Hi, Gary. And you are? I'm Charlie. <laughs> Hi, Charlie. Hi, Gary. I'm, um, I'm an alcoholic. Oh, how many, uh, how many days since your last drink, brother? Uh, actually, um, four, I think. Yeah. Mm. Four. Um, which, technically, I didn't even drink. Um, I poured whiskey on my pancakes, and then I ate all of the pancakes. And then I threw up back onto the plate. Actually, most of it ended up on the plate. It's not important. Um, I've heard so many people with my drinking. I've heard friends. I've lost a lot of friends to drinking. I've lost family members to drinking. They won't talk to... <coughs> Are you smoking crack in here? <laughs> 96 hours. I'm going to be your sponsor, Charlie. No, please don't. Here. What? It's your chip. Chip? It's your 96-hour chip. I'm pretty sure there's not a 96-hour chip. And if there was, I doubt that it would be crack cocaine. I don't know where that crack came from. That does not surprise me. I wasn't always a writer, you know. I don't think you're one now. You want to hear the darkest story I've never told? Please, no. Well, here it goes. It was a dark and stormy night on Lake Wobegon. Me and my best friend Garrison Keeler were practicing our Guy Noir impressions, dreaming about one day being on a radio show in downtown Minneapolis. Garrison had his red shoes on. It was a great night until Garrison decided that he had to go down to the old sand lot to buy a dime bag. And I was like, Garrison, are you crazy? There's a mastiff that lives right behind the fence owned by old Black Willie who used to play for the Mets. And I was like, don't go near Black Willie's house, Garrison. And he did. And you know what happened, Charlie? No. You fucking that dog bit his nose off. Garrison Keeler didn't have a nose from the ages of 14 to 18 because I wanted to get high with him. You see how weed maims? I mean, the only thing that good came out of that experience was it inspired my first book, Hatchet. Wait, what? Because I hacked that fucking dog to bits, Charlie! I went out, and then Black Willie was like, my granddaughters are over, so I caught those bitches too. I fucking killed two little girls to avenge my best friend Garrison Keeler, and he never, he never posted bail. That's the craziest story I've ever heard. Do you want a cup of coffee for our 
two-person AA meeting. Coffee. Where are you going? Uh, nowhere. Cramp. Oh, okay, I just I'll keep reading your hatchet too then. Actually, we were fooling ourselves for deep down in every man, woman, child, rabbit, bobcat, wallaby, wombat, squirrel, flying squirrel, and groundhog is the fundamental idea of God, Brian said to all the animals in unison. It may be obscured by calamity, but by pomp, by worship of other things, we will build a fire we will survive the winter for faith in a power greater than ourselves and miraculous demonstrations of that will help us defeat the white man. Will help us defeat the white man who stole our land from us, who killed the moose, who cut down the woods that I sought refuge in. I, as Brian, will kill every white man on the planet in some kind of God was a part of our makeup just as much as the feeling we have for our friend, Rabbit Senior. Sometimes we had to search fearlessly for Rabbit Senior, but eventually we found that fucker boozing down by the river. What are you doing, Brian said to Rabbit Senior. Duh, nah, nothing. I'm a, I went to work today. Bullshit, you did, Rabbit Senior. You didn't go to work today. You don't got the balls to tell me the truth when you've been hitting the Kentucky bourbon, Rabbit Senior. Brian left in a furious huff. He went back to his cave, and he shot up because he didn't know what else to do. Charlie? Charlie, I scared another one away. Never read Hatchet 2 to them.